Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and in this video I'm going to address a question that has baffled scholars since time immemorial. Can you play fingerstyle guitar on a dreadnought? Like this one. One of the less nourishing aspects of any community is the inevitable existence of gatekeepers, people who will delight in telling you, you can't do that with this, and you can't do this with that. However, one of the joys of being a guitarist is that the instrument we love tends to reward a maverick approach. As such, if an instrument works for you, then I say go for it. If you want to play romantic Brazilian music on an offset pink flying V, have at it. That said, some guitars are more immediately suited to certain styles than to others. The case in point is Martin's venerable Dreadnought design, which was first launched on an unsuspecting world by the Ditson brand in the 1920s. Here's a fun fact. The Dreadnought design gets its name from the battleship HMS Dreadnought, which was a 14-fret battleship with a tortoiseshell pickguard. The Dreadnought is a powerful instrument that is favoured by flat pickers, and under those conditions it really does excel. There are many classic recordings of a Dreadnought guitar being used in a fingerstyle context. Michael Hedges, Bert Yanch, Joni Mitchell, Jimmy Page, and many more have used this powerful instrument as a fingerstyle tool. This topic has been on my mind quite a bit recently, especially following a visit to the Turnstone Guitars Workshop, where I met up with uh, my dear friend, the luthier Rosie Heidenrich, who has just launched a beautiful Dreadnought model. While I was there, we shot a video where I put the new guitar through its paces, and also talked about our shared love of the Dreadnought design. Here's a short clip. We're not a traditional vintage style guitar mm, company. Yeah, we have a very distinct character to our guitars so we were approaching it from the point of view that we wanted to bring the characteristics of a dreadnought in the more pronounced bass the mm -hmm. more expansive feel to it but at the end of the day we wanted it to sound like a turnstone guitar <laughs> I have a huge soft spot for the Dreadnought design. I think it's a beautiful instrument. I don't actually own one at the moment, so in order to make this video, I drove around to see my friends at Guitar Guitar in Epsom and borrow this instrument. This is a D35. It's actually a 50th anniversary D35. And those of you familiar with Martin guitars will already know that that means it's a three-piece backed instrument. So the back and sides are Indian rosewood, but the middle strip, is Brazilian. Aside from that, we're dealing with a regular 14 fret Martin Dreadnought. Let's zoom in right now and see how this guitar performs as a dedicated fingerstyle instrument. <laughs> Well, that was very interesting. In comparison to the specialised fingerstyle guitars that I'm used to playing, uh, the nut width and also the string spacing uh, down by the saddle do feel very tight, very constrained. And uh, certainly my left hand, I was struggling to, uh, to fret cleanly. And my right hand, I felt that I was just sort of uh, pinching the... Um, yeah, it did not feel natural. <laughs> The Dreadnought is a big guitar, and Dreadnought shoulder is a recognised medical condition, as of course is Whittler's Whiplash. Now, at the moment, 
it feels relatively comfortable, although my arm is at a far steeper angle than it normally would be when I'm playing. Uh, that's not doing anything um, to hamper my playing particularly, at least not the, the sort of the fine motor skill aspect of things. But it does make life a little difficult when it comes to uh, right hand movement in terms of uh, the different timbres that I might want to use. So moving from from a warmer to a more metallic sound um, is not that easy. It, it well it, it it requires a bigger movement than I'm used to. Put it that way. Also, this is a 14 fret instrument. And I must admit, I play more 12 fret guitars than anything else these days. Sonically, I can't help but get the feeling that my gentle touch and short, polished nails just aren't getting the best of this guitar. It's not particularly responsive in the modern sense of the word. It does have potentially a lot of volume, but I feel like I'd have to drag it out um, if I was just playing fingerstyle. The neck is also a lot slimmer than what I'm used to, and I'll be honest, that does feel a little fatiguing after a while. This is a very beautiful traditional Martin sound, and it does that Americana Dust Bowl blues thing very well indeed. However, it's just not built for that more orchestral Bay Area kind of sound. Still good though. This is a great dread, and um, I do feel like I'm not doing it justice. So here's a pick, and we'll see what happens next. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that's what they're there for. <laughs> So it looks like we have come some way towards answering our initial question. Can you play fingerstyle on a dreadnought? Yes, of course you can. Does it play to the instrument's strengths, though? Well, in my case, certainly not, sadly. But if you are looking for a traditional sound, if you wear finger picks or a thumb pick and have a more robust picking hand action, then yeah, go for it. I mean, it's such a beautiful shape. How could you not love it? 
If you found this video interesting, educational or entertaining, please do subscribe to support my channel. Drop me a like and let me know your own experiences using a classic dreadnought design for fingerstyle playing. Until next time, stay tuned.